graphing horizontal and vertical lines. In algebra, there are only three types of lines that we can draw. They are horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. To tell what type of line you're going to draw, you can find out by looking at what variables are in the equation. If the equation only has a y variable, then the line will be horizontal. If the equation only has the x variable, then the line will be vertical. If the equation has both the x and the y variables, then the line will be diagonal. A way to remember this is by the acronym hoy bucks. This stands for all horizontal lines have a slope of zero and they look like y equals some number. So there's just a y in the equation. VUX stands for vertical lines have a slope that's undefined and they look like x equals some number. So this is going to help us in the future also when we have to determine what the slope of the line is. But for now, HOI, just remember, is horizontal lines if it's just a Y and VUX stand for vertical lines if it's just an X. So let's look at these equations in practice. In number one, we have Y equals four. So what kind of line would that be? It would be horizontal. Number two, X equals negative two. There's only an X, VUX, so that would be a vertical line. In number three, we have y equals 3x minus 2. There's a y and an x in this line, so this line would be diagonal. For number four, y equals negative 2x plus 5. That line would be diagonal. Number five is 3x equals 9. Well, even though the x is not by itself, x is the only variable, so this line would be vertical. And for number 6, 2y minus 5 equals 7. Again, y is the only variable, so this would be a horizontal line, hoi. Now to graph an equation that has only one variable, it's very simple. This is y equals 4. So it's telling us that our line is going to cross through the y-axis at 4. So on my y-axis, I'm going to go up to 4. And then because of hoi, we know that it's going to be a horizontal line. And that's it. Here we have x equals negative 2. So it's going to cross through, through the x-axis at negative 2. So on my x-axis, I'm going to go to the left two spaces and put a dot. And then because we know vux, that tells us that since there's only an x in the equation, it's going to be a vertical line. So we draw a vertical line through x at 2. For y equals negative 3, hoi, we know it's going to be a horizontal line crossing through y at negative 3. So on my y-axis, I go down to negative 3 and draw a horizontal line. Here we have 3x equals 9. Well, before we can graph it, we have to get the x by itself. And to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3 which leaves me with x equals 3. So on my x-axis, I go to 3 and put a dot, and vux tells me that it's a vertical line. And for this equation, again, we only have a y, but it's not by itself. So let's get it by itself first. 
I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I have 2y equals 12. And then I divide both sides by 2, which leaves me with y equals 6. So on my y-axis, I go up 6 and put a dot. And then hoi, it's a horizontal line going through y at 6.